What is up guys, it is Avalon 12. Today, we are going to go over a Tactician's Authority Gear Build in the Division. What you should have, what you shouldn't worry about, and what you should worry about. So, first thing, we'll go over a few things. Stamina, Electronics, Ammo Capacity, Firearms, Main Abilities, and your talents you should be using Why you have the Tactician's Ability Build together. So the first thing is Stamina. So you want to have your HP at 70,000 HP, which isn't super high, but isn't super low, so that you can focus some in firearms, so you're not just a tank, you can actually do some damage too. The main stat you want to focus on in a Tactician's build is either is HP, skill power, and armor. You are the tank, you are the suppressor, you want to focus on those. Those are the main skills you want to focus on. So we'll go over stamina first. Stamina includes armor and health. Your health, you want to have it over about 70,000 HP to be effective, and you want your armor to be about 44,600 points, which will give you around 64 to 65% armor mitigation, mitigation, so they'll be doing about 65% less damage to you from weapons. Now, once you get to 4,700, 4, you hit 65% for armor which is the max you can hit. So once you hit that blockade, all you want to focus on is HP after that point. So as you can tell, I'm sitting in at 64% uh, mitigation, and I am sitting at 70,000 HP, which is a really good skill build for me. So that's perfect. So the next thing we'll go down to is skill power, whichever one you want to call it. There is still a current cap for skill power, which is around 50,000 skill power, which they have not lifted even when they put this set together for some reason. So you want to make sure that you can at least get to 50,000 skill power with the 100% boost. So, what's best for that? My character was running 25,000 skill power, which went up to 50k. I could have run pulse 24-7 by myself, and my defibrillator grenade would revive and heal them by almost full HP no matter whether they were 70,000 or 80,000. So having 60,000 skill power with the Tactician's Authority build in mind is perfect because your 30,000 goes to 60 which is enough to fully heal you at 90,000 HP even with the Defibrillator Grenade. So a solid skill power number with a Tactician's Authority build should be around 25 to 30,000 which will get you almost to the cap of the skill power amount of effectiveness. Next up is ammo capacity. Why am I talking about ammo capacity when we're talking about a Tactician's Authority build? The main thing about a Tactician is he's supposed to be the tank slash support slash suppressor. So if you don't have the thousand plus rounds per gun, you can't suppress or tank very much and do your, do your DPS drop-in because my normal DPS was about 150,000, 170,000 before I did this build and I'm down to 122 and 114. So to make up for the DPS dropping, putting yourself with more rounds will make up for it, you just burn through ammo a little bit faster. So I make sure that two pieces of gear have ammo capacity. One of mine is the Tactician's Authority Vest which gives me 49% capacity. Then my backpack, Tactician's Authority backpack, gives me 45% ammo capacity equaling to almost a hundred percent ammo capacity altogether which put me which puts me at a solid 1100 rounds per gun so it's nice even build. what's next in a tacticians authority build out firearms now i know tacticians aren't supposed to focus on firearms but you've got to remember you will be soloing sometimes so you don't want to be at like 100,000 HP and 40,000 skill power and only have 90,000 DPS. It's not going to work. You don't be pointless in the incursion even. You do just not don't have the damage output. So what I do is I put two pieces of gear heavily into firearms. So I have my knee pads which are mainly focused on firearms which gives me 606 firearms. And then the next piece I'm going to have is going to be my uh, gloves which will also be firearms, but I currently don't have any good gloves. So these should be set items as well, and you should be looking into Sentry's Call or Striker's Gear Sets 
so that you get the extra damage perks. So the extra perks for strikers call for strikers is you get plus 20% enemy armor damage, which will take the white armor bar down faster. Or you can go with the sentries, which will give you plus 30% headshot damage. Depending on how you play and how you want to play and what weapons you use, either one of these will be viable options. Dr. Ellis Just make sure that both can go heavily into firearms so that, like mine, myself, my firearms, instead of being 110 like they used to be, are now 122 and 114, making you more viable. You can tank, you can attack, you can do everything. It's more of a round tactician spell than just straight HP. So the next thing we're going to do is main abilities. Now this is very important in incursions especially. So the main abilities, in my opinion, that a tactician should be running should be a first aid grenade with the defibrillator attachment. So if your enemy, if your friend goes down, you have a shootable long range revive along with a lot of HP. Now mine currently self heals for over 43,000 because once tactician's authority goes in, my skill power doubles. So I go from 43,000 to 80,000 heal. So this will heal 90% of people to full health even with reviving them. So it's a perfect thing. Next, I would run support station with life support. If your grenade's on a cooldown, this is another long range, revivable, constant heal that can happen. This support station does 2300 HP at 31,000 HP, 31,000 skill power. However, when it doubles, it will be healing for 4,000 HP a second, which would make it very viable to help anyone on your team stay alive. So that is what you should be running if you want to peer HP. Now, no matter what you do, a tactician's authority should always have the defib first aid. However, he can switch from the life support station to pulse with the tactical sensor since theoretically a tactician's authority should be able to run pulse by himself 24 7 as long as tactician's authority is 75 percent filled it lasts longer with the 20 percent scale haste it regens cooler and it's just overall faster when we go to the recovery links and the special abilities such as tactical link and survival link it really comes down to what your team needs in the incursion, me and my team run survivor's links, so when we're planning the bombs or anything like that, we can do a faster movement speed so we only have to turn on one turret. However, any of these will work properly and will not affect Tactician's Authority build in any way, besides being able to heal better, do better DPS, or make it so you can survive longer. Those are the main abilities you should be using, are in the medical tree only. Tact the security tree with the ballistic shield, some groups use, but it's not as widely used is the shield goes down pretty fast sometimes so most people stick with the medical tree and the tactician's authority build because you are support last thing is talent talents for any build as far as i'm concerned are not worth your time pick the talents you like running and run with them they're not going to change just because of your role changing currently for my role i'm using steady hands repo reaper Strike Back, and Battle Buddy. All these work great, especially since I revive down allies pretty often. 50%, reducing 50% incoming damage for 10 seconds for both of us is extremely helpful in incursions with a shotgun or, or just in general, especially in the dark zone when you are being attacked or you are attacking. That is the talent you should be using. So just as a quick overview, we have stamina, should be over 70,000 HP. Armor needs to be 4,600 40, 4,600 or 4,700. No more, no less. Perfect, 75%. HP is better than both firearms and electronics for the simple fact that HP is unlimited, your skill power is limited, and your firearms is not what you should be focusing on as a tactician. Next up is electronics. 25,000 plus scale, scale for effectiveness will put you up to 50k when it is 100% proct, which is enough to heal with the defibrillator grenade 80,000 HP on a revive, which will bring them back to full HP, which will be perfect. Ammo capacity. Make sure two pieces of your gear gives extra ammo. 
Your main role is to support and suppress in a firefight, so having up to 100% extra ammo capacity will make up for the damage you lose going with a tactician's authority build and will also help support your team to suppress higher level enemies. Firearms. Two of your gears should be heavily into firearms like we talked about, and the two items should be out of sentries or strikers depending on whether you want to do 20% armor damage or whether you want to do 30% headshot damage. Either one would be perfect depending on how you or your group decides to play. Your main abilities should be the first aid with defibrillator mod for revive, support station with life support mod for the revive and constant heal, or pulse with the tactical scanner since you can run pulse 24-7 at 75% tactician's authority build you shouldn't have an issue at all. Your talents should be whatever you feel like using in a dark zone or anything like that. I went over the talents in the video, you can go back to that point and look at them. But as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't really matter what talents you are using as long as you are using them properly and you know how they proc and how they work easily.